Hi, my name is Kyun Her, and I assisted the North Korean art exhibition as a project advisor. And this is Michael, and we would like to just kind of ask him a few questions how this whole thing started. So, hi, Michael. Hello. So, could you tell me more about kind of maybe how this exhibition started um, and how you started to have the collection of, from North Korea, which is very rare? Well, the collection actually started. Um, while I was working on a different project, more humanitarian nature project in North Korea. And I found myself really interested in North Korean culture, but because of cultural barriers, because of uh, logistics, I found myself not really able to ask a lot of the questions I wanted to ask about Korean culture. And as I was working on this project, one day I actually stumbled across a North Korean art gallery. And when I went inside, I was able to talk to some of the North Korean gallery attendants about each painting and as I was just asking questions and looking at the different paintings, the different cultural ideals that are highlighted in them, uh, I found for the first time my questions were getting answered. I found for the first time that there was uh, an avenue to ask all these cultural questions and get understanding about North Korea. So could you tell us more about kind of an interest in individual lives of um, how North Korean artists live? Um, that the view of North Korea is very kind of government based. So I'm interested in how they live and as Korean artists. Okay. Um, I think one of the greatest misunderstandings about these particular Korean artists is that, you know, they're so elite. They're the top of North Korean artists, so they must, must be rich or something, right? Um, they're actually very typical for North Koreans living in Pyongyang, the capital city of North Korea. Um, there's probably two artists here that would have uh, what would be considered wealthy lifestyles, I guess. There's a very, a very strong sense of unity with the government, um, a very strong sense of, of uh, loyalty to their, their national ideology, as well as a, a strong sense of their own personal expression in the art. Um, so while most of them have done military service in their younger years, um, these artists do make a living painting. They, they create every day. Um, so it's a, it's a very interesting fusion in that way to me. North Korea is kind of known to be a very isolated co country as far as cultural exchange, but we see some influences, possible influences from maybe China in the arts in North Korea. So maybe could you talk about the fusion of the cultural exchanges and the paintings that's here? Sure. This is a, a perfect example. Um, actually, there's been fusion that's happened all throughout history. We know that. Um, the neat thing about North Korean art in the whole landscape of, of Asian art is the fact that fusion's been happening so long between China and North Korea, Japan. Um, around the, what, 1300s, something like that, uh, Song Dynasty, China, was tremendously influenced by Korean art, uh, the Korean art of that time period. In fact, there's a very famous uh, painting that's extremely, it's very, very similar to this one, that was in the imperial collection of Song Dynasty China. Um, it was influenced, like that painting was done by a Chinese artist who was influenced by Korean artist at the time. The neat thing about this painting is that it's done by a North Korean artist, probably one of the most famous North Korean artists still living. Um, it takes that traditional theme of Song Dynasty China and it modifies it with North Korean political idealism. You'll notice this one has clearer, more more bold brushstrokes, extremely broad brushstrokes on the on the wings. Um, uh, uh, talking to this artist, uh, what about two years ago, he had mentioned that he wanted this to symbolize the the spirit of North Korea taking flight. And so it's it was interesting to me that that this fusion that happened in Song Dynasty China to influence China turned around again and influenced a North Korean who turned it around again to showcase and, and modify it slightly with his own political ideology and his own values. Um, so it's extremely unique. It's amazing to me. <laughs> Thank you.